Yes! Holy fuck! <laughs> Hold on, Carrie. Weighing my four pound fish. Guys, I didn't get it on film. I was reeling him in. He literally jumped into my boat. 3.5. Look at this. I didn't catch this. Kerry caught this. It's our biggest one. 6.3 pounds. You ready to put him away? Well, good morning, y'all. It is now 5.37 in the morning. I got all my stuff packed up there. I'm waiting for Mike to come get me. We're heading up to what hopes to be a very productive morning not morning, productive weekend fishing at Lake Okeechobee. We're gonna go up there today and fish. Um, and go maybe check in our motel room around noon. Go back, fish the day at fishing. Finish, finish. I can't talk, it's too early. I've had like three hours of sleep. Got some big life changes coming up here soon. So excited, nervous about that, but more on that when that time comes. Um, but uh, fishing all day tomorrow, which is Saturday, They're coming home. Sunday I might do some fishing here around the Cape and then Monday some big things are happening but uh, once again we'll talk to this about that stuff when it's time so uh, hang out and if you see this that means we caught some fish and if you don't see this then you don't see it and it's a waste of time well we made it here to Lake O Ron's still getting the ghetto glider greased up ready to rock but top heavy bed he's in action son mike and i are here we're the only fools on lake okeechobee and kayaks but we don't care because we're cool like that and uh, this will definitely be the only canoe you see out here today but we're hoping to catch some uh big ass fish uh this season's starting off good for me i got a three and a half pounder already so hopefully i can break that today hopefully i can break carrie's goal of six pounds yeah, if i break yeah. her personal best she will be ripped pissed There's a good chance of that out or if i pull a peacock out of here she'll be double pissed yeah. so that's our goal for today anything over six and a half pounds or a peacock just to make Hell carry yeah. mad later y'all some keeps jumping left and right over here see him Oh, got him. Ah, he let go. Damn it. So Ron and Mike from Personal Best Baits selected some worms and some baits that are supposed to work quite well out here in Lake Okeechobee. And I think I might try these missile baits and see how they do. I don't have any luck on any frogs, so this will be my first time using a missile bait or anything from this uh, company, Missile Baits. Yep. So this is the missile bait D bomb that I want to put on here. I gotta get used to being in all this wake, and whenever you're not looking around and it's super rocky, you kind of get woozy. Yeah, you, know, you just your internal internal gyroscope it's all out of whack, and so you struggle. And yes, I'm on a kayak a lot, but I rarely deal with this sort of wake. 
These missile baits look very similar to a Guggen bait uh, bandito bug. Now I've had pretty good hits off bandito bugs in the past. So hopefully this missile bait will fish the same way. It is only two feet here, so two feet windy. It's kind of like fishing in Cape Coral. Just a whole lot more of it. Put on your worm. See if it works. Play with the worm. <laughs> they sell that funky shit at Walmart. Put on your bait. Is that the band down by the river over there? Ah, finally the I just oiled my pole because it was all dry, and finally the oil start now. It's not sound like a pepper shaker anymore. This is that new Z-Man uh, Z-Man uh, a full. You ready for this? Don't get nervous. Foot and three inches. Don't fall out of your boat. We don't want any drownings. You won't have time to put your life jacket on. So this is an observation tower. And all that wood you see, all that wood you see is simply to make it wheelchair accessible. We were joking around that they should just put in an old school coal mine style platform with four lines on a pulley system. And just go straight up. <laughs> I'm out of my element here. I'm fishing with a chatterbait, a long white zoom trick uh, trick tail trailer. I can get the blue, I can get the uh, benefit of having the June bug plus the white. Damn it! I just had a hit. It got off. I was at at the end of my pole. Big hit right at the end of my pole. Oh, fuck. GoPro, stop recording. What color worm did you get that hit on? What's that? What color worm did you get the hit on? Yeah, but I'm using my one of my big worms that I brought with me. Oh yeah! Ah, oh, damn it! You see how big that was? At least I saw a pound and a half. Nah, I'm thinking two pounds. Yeah, about five pounds. Oh, I'm. That was on a watermelon red seed ultimate zoom worm. Yeah, look at that hog. Look. That's a Cape Coral hog right there. That's an Okeechobee dink. Uh, how, uh, how big? I'm measuring them. I'm going to say two pounds. I'm going to say pounds. They've been fat lately. Oh, dude, I've been 
Damn it! <laughs> Second one! <sighs> Probably another pound and a half or. Oh! It's hard to set the hook because they're swimming towards the boat. Yeah, shush! <laughs> Finally! Rod! Rod! What was yours? One and a half. Got it on that worm you told me to use. GoPro, stop recording. A little spot I want to fish down there. That one's blowing me away. No, that's not a bass. We're bass fishing. We ain't fishing for both in. We're not dinosaur fishing. I mean, he gets extra credit for catching something with molars, but that ain't no bass. Why? What does he need us for? Ron just called us. Apparently, he's got a big alligator underneath his canoe, and he don't know what to do. I don't know what he expects two guys on kayaks to do. I would suggest he just tap him with his paddle and let it get moving. But I don't know. Stuck on a sandbar. That'll work out. Go for a stop recording. I was gonna say, I don't know what you want us to do to help. <laughs> Your bow fin don't count. That ain't no bass, we're bass fishing, fool. Did you get that on your chatter bait? Day in Cape Coral. Just grab him, you puss. Just when he thought he'd beat me, I pull myself back in. Now that's a
fucking dink, but I'll take it. They're still tied up two to two. We're not fishing for weight. Okay, Ron. Hey, uh, you guys need a protein bar? I got Oreos and cookies and cream. Bad news, you say, what's that? Well, see, you're bleeding profusely and there's alligators in the water. So for that, I gotta apologize. I got it, but do you have an extra pair I can borrow for the day? Just go, you're bleeding so bad, I don't wanna put my hand in the water with your ass. I got it. It's gonna be another Cape Coral Dink. Actually, yeah. Not too bad. Whatever, don't jump. Actually, I'd be happy with that in Cape Coral. Uh, you got them hooked pretty good. You can't go nowhere. Yeah, right through the old eyeball. Okay, I'm gonna do you a solid, dude. I'm gonna save your eyeball. I'm gonna do you a solid. Hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna do you solid. I'm not gonna go backwards. Yank your eye out. I'll tie my hook back on. Cause I'm good to fish. See that? I can't believe how dark they are here. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta tie my already tie my hook. Yeah, he just sent me a picture. Now you can tell him you got one too. Reply back, Don caught number three back here. <laughs> we all have three. I just lost two big ones off my chatter bait, but Ron just put me on some uh, fish bed, so I'm hoping to cat catch some. I'm on my anchor, super windy out. I tried to voice the text, but oh wow, I just caught the only goddamn branch out here. Um, try to voice a texture, but it was saying some weird. Yeah, that's what uh, I'm, I was gonna wait till you get home before I go live. That way you can see. Were they all little ones? No, Ron caught. He caught a pound and a half. Mike caught a pound uh, 13. I caught about a pounder and then a, a Cape Coral Dink. And then Ron caught maybe two Cape Coral Dinks. It's not that far of a drive. We could, we could come out here next Saturday. Just leave early in the morning. Um, no I've only thrown a swivel bait. I mean, a uh, rooster tail once, but it got snagged. It's I'm sitting. I'm sitting on a couple. I don't know, maybe a thousand yards offshore, and it's a foot and a half deep. They let all the water out of here, so it's like fishing in Cape Coral. Hold on, I think I have something. Hold on. Yeah, I got something. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's, it's running. It's pulling my line. I'm going to let him get tired out. I don't want to lose him. I don't want him to jump. That's how I lost the other two. He's, he's a big one. He's literally... He's trying to take me on sleigh ride, but I got my anchor down. Hold on. Carrie's on the phone with me. He tried to run again. You got a net on you? Nope. I'm gonna try to tire him out. Holy sh! How big? Eight, eight nine pounds? Ooh. Yes! Holy yeah. sh! <laughs> Hold on, Carrie. This thing's a fing hog. 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I'm saying I don't even know. I don't even know. Hold on. I got him on a chatterbait. Jesus. How big do you think this thing is? Woo! Ready? Come on. It's pushing nine. It's pushing nine. Lock. Lock it. Come on. 8.75! Take a picture of this thing. Absolutely. Hold on. That's why you need side images. Look at this. Woo! Hurry up. Let me kick around. I know, I want to get him back in the water though. Holy shit. Too bad I don't have this on TikTok. Doggy. Thank, you, buddy. Right there. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. 8.75 pounds. Hell yeah. Woo! Hell yeah. Woo! That's you know, Hell yeah. Just like that. You, uh, I'll, <laughs> Carrie's on the phone too, and I just beat her personal best. You want to come out here next weekend? So check out our room. This is at Lake Fort Lodge. This room was. 79 bucks for two people, 89 bucks for three. It's got a super old couch, which is fine because they know a bunch of dirty ass fishermen are gonna be here. You get yourself a gun rack. You get a little bed for a little shit kid. And then you got the pee pee room, bathroom, mirror, and a whole nother unit. So if you guys are in Lake Okeechobee and you're wanting a place to stay, no carpet on the floor, so you ain't got to worry about it. You can just bring your kayaks in, don't worry about getting stolen. Got two queen beds, so four people can sleep in here. You got a fold out couch, which I'm sure is older and shit, but there's an option for more people to sleep. An odd man out gets to sleep there. It's an old joint, but hey, 80 bucks, three people, right down the street from the boat ramp. Can't beat that with a soggy dog. What's up, y'all? It's day two, it's about 7.42. I'm gonna quickly make my way across this canal because I got crossed down there anyhow. And uh, so right now, Ron has four, I have four, and Mike has five. I'm gonna paddle my ass over to this no wake spot. I think I'm gonna make a sticker on my cricket that says 8.75 <laughs> put on my boat. I think I'm gonna make a sticker on my cricket for my boat that says 8.75. So I asked, what's the biggest fish you land on this little thing? I'm trying at Chatterbait. Trying it reeled a little higher off the bottom. Check it over here, baby. Pop and let all the five skibbies check your drop. Mm, drop. Don't forget to check your drop. <laughs> mm, drop. GoPro, stop recording. That's what I was talking about. Hey Mike, can you see me? Look over your other shoulder. When you put your paddle in, keep it flat and turn it a little bit. If you turn it too hard, you'll flip your you'll, you'll flip your kayak over because it'll dig in. Just gently rotate it 
instead of digging in, otherwise you'll get snagged. You don't have to keep it in there. I'm saying whenever you do put it in there, don't put it vertical that it'll snag and yank your boat real hard. Yesterday it was just constant waves. The good news about that is I had my anchor down yesterday when I hooked up on that big one. So he wasn't able to drag my ass all over the lake, which wore him down quicker, which was also good for me. Some of those bass boats sound like rocket ships taking off. I'm gonna rotate the boat so you guys can see the lily pads over here. Kind of casting in and around. Oh, big ass alligator right in front of me. Look guys, that is not a stick. That, oh, he just left. Big ass gator. He was probably 12 footer. Hey, Mike, I just saw a 12 footer. Gator? Yeah, right in front of me. Huge head. The distance from his nose to his eyes is about. <laughs> Yeah, so we didn't get Ron in the back of the video because he's back there somewhere. Anyhow, day two, Sunday, we all got skunked. Not a damn thing. But all in all, for the weekend, Mike technically won with five. Five bass. And uh, most of them, I'd say at least four of them were well over a pound. Yeah, easily. I think I caught one Cape Coral Dink. Um, a Cape Coral Good Guy. And then some Lake Okeechobee Dinks. Um, I caught a pound and a half was the first one, then I think a poundish, and then the smaller ones, and then that monster. All in all, it was a good time. I'm tired, paddled around on the water for eight hours. We'll do that to you. Went out the very next day. Luckily, some of the long stretches we had Ron's canoe, kayak, whatever, his, his crazy canoe. But uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Please like, subscribe, share us with a friend, and check out PB Bates' page. I'll put the link in below. Shout out to them and especially Ron for going to research and figuring out what colors are hitting right now. And all in all, the credit goes to Ron. He had his side scan Garmin, and the waves were so rough that his side scan was actually able to find all the fish beds. And he's the one who put me on the, the general area where I caught that fish. So shout out to them. But uh, we got to drive home, start raining. We're tired as hell. So we'll talk to you all next time. Digital 410 production. <laughs>